you again. Tell me, why were you with the outsiders at Kanagawa Post? The one who showed up at the U.S. Consulate. Ah, so that's why you are hand in glove with Harris. I accept that you have your own motivations, so I won't pry any further. But, I can't overlook the fact that you worked as an outsider's stooge. If you want our trust, you'll have to earn it. The official's just ahead. As you showed up, I'm guessing you'll help me to deliver justice, right? Good. Then we depart at once. I'll fill you in on the way. Follow me. Our destination is the official's residence. He's a corrupt man who's grown fat by taking bribes from foreigners. He's especially close to the British, and is constantly surrounded by a detail of their soldiers. The man's rotten to the core, and Japan will rock too if his kind are allowed to remain in power. I'll let you know when I see him. Barely a whimper.
Winter. Excellent work. Once they get this message, the other officials will think twice before taking any donations under the table. We've done a service to the people. Good work. You're prepared to risk life and limb for the sake of the Japanese people. Now that I've seen that, I can trust you. As of this moment, we are comrades in arms, in the truest sense. From now on, I'm willing to put my life on the line for you. I anticipate great things for us.
I've procured some fine wares. Please, have a look around. Is there anything else? See you next time. Ah, hello. There's something I want to discuss. Remember when I told you I wish to study in America? Well, I've looked into it, but have heard little back. But then I realized that the black ships docked in Yokohama. They must be laden with the latest books and other marvels from the West. I've made up my mind. The answer is to sneak aboard and borrow the things I need to further my education. I was hoping you would say that. I could really use your help. Plus, I'll have a tough comrade on my side. Let me introduce you to him. This is Sawamura. A ninja of Iga. I've seen you before. The Veiled Edge assassin who fought Perry aboard the Black Ship. Thanks to the fuss you kicked up, I was able to finish my mission. Wait. You infiltrated the Black Ships as well? Well, <laughs> I'm more confident than ever now there's two of you. Mr. Fukuzawa translated the documents we stole from the ship. I owe him one. It will be easy to get aboard through the hold, just like the last time. I'll make my way to the deck and secure an escape route. Sawamura has made all the necessary preparations. We can go anytime. So you will help us infiltrate the ship, won't you? I do have to make one important request. Remember, we're doing this for the sake of educating ourselves. I beg you, refrain from killing as best you can. Sawamura, over to you. Seems they're none the wiser. Let's keep moving.
never saw it coming. Quite a complex telescope, this. I must get Igashishi to examine it for me. must adopt the Westerners' ways.
Sounds like he's suffering. already spread from his lungs. The poisoner. She knows how to cure me. <laughs> the witch. Cure tuberculosis? Do they really know how to do that in America? He's gone. Let us leave him to rest in peace. Let's go. I think this is enough of a haul. Let's go and find Samamura. Huh? Where's Samamura gone to? Thanks, both of you. You've given me exactly what I want. I particularly appreciate your restraint in subduing those in your way. Aside from that last unavoidable bit of conflict, of course. Nevertheless, there is one thing in particular on my mind. I 
haven't been able to stop thinking about what we saw. Very perceptive. I have no match for you. The sailor mentioned a poisoner who could cure him. Of course, he might well have been delirious in his final moments. But tuberculosis itself is not unlike a deadly poison. How could one use poison to cure it? There are ancient ninja arts that counter one poison's effects with another's. Perhaps tuberculosis can be suppressed the same way. Of course! The smallpox vaccine works the same way. My medical teacher developed it, you see. It uses a weakened version of the disease to protect against its full-blown form. Perhaps there's a similar treatment for tuberculosis. I wonder what other American medical advancements have we yet to learn. This only strengthens my resolve. I must go there no matter what. And I will return to Japan with a veritable treasure trove of knowledge. Even the cure for tuberculosis. I know it. I was wondering when you'd next drop by. There you are. I was just telling Fukuzawa here everything. You need a poison and its antidote, you say? I suppose the easiest poison to acquire would be that of the blowfish. Very astute. Consumption Bambi damned. Everyone's snaking in a bite or two on the side. Uh, I really don't know if this is a good idea. If I make the tiniest of mistakes formulating the concoction, you'll wind up dead. That may be so, but I'm already risking my life standing up to those government goons. I've got to put it all on the line, you see? Ah, I suppose I should get you up to speed. See, the plan is... Those officials told me they'd have me beheaded. So I thought I'd go ahead and die before they get the chance. Izuka will drop dead in front of them, then come back to life when the time is right. It's sure to work, as long as we handle the poison perfectly, I think. Let's just see them try to make their threats to a dead man. Aha! This is brilliant! Even for me. I... I thought I might try mixing a few chemicals into lime water, but there's really no guarantee. Have faith in your abilities, Fukuzawa. Look, if you fail, I promise I won't haunt you from beyond the grave. Let's see then. First, we need some poison from a blowfish. 
Think you could wrangle some up for me? There's a place nearby that'll serve bluefish if you ask. They might have some poison to spare. When you're done, just bring the poison to me. Welcome, welcome. Just you signing today? Ah, uh, another bro fish aficionado, eh? Sadly, we're all out, but so is everyone else. Some samurai families from Choshu bought all the bro fish in the market. Surely you're not going to ask them for the brofish. Ah, but that'll be tricky. Those folks from Choshu really like the brofish. But I won't stop you from trying. I heard they're having some sort of feast in Juniten Shrine, south of Kanai. Bet they want to indulge in all that brofish where nobody could see them. If all works out and you get yourself a brofish, bring it here so I can whip out something delicious.
変だな。Feeling beat. Let's have a little chat. Oh, what's that? I wanted to do something about this country. There's only so much that can be done in Tulsa, you know. And I'm trying to do what's best for the whole of Japan. That might not mean what's best for Tulsa. If I hadn't left, it might have meant trouble for my family. I didn't really have a choice. It was a gift from Shinsaku. He bought it in Shanghai. Made by some American company, apparently. Obviously, I'm more comfortable with a sword, but it definitely comes in handy, in a pinch. I don't like how the Red Demon's gone about it, but opening up the country is a good thing. There's amazing stuff in the West. Like this. Ah, is that so? So we meet again. Well, what is it? Got me figured out. See you around.
Be careful, eh? So you got yourself a brofish? All right then, let's make you something that'll make your taste buds dance. I'll just go prepare the fish. Huh? D don't hurt me. You wanted it for its poison? I can't just extract this poison and give it to you. That's far too dangerous. You're telling me you're not going to use it to kill someone. I... I suppose the fish's poison isn't that strong. All right, all right. Take it. It's yours. And take the fresh too, will you? It's brofish after all. Can't let it go to waste. If you're done here, please take your fish and go. I know you. You're the thief that stole my blowfish. I was going to feast on that blowfish today. You're not getting a single slice. Give it back. Now. You've prepared it with such skill. Very well. In recognition of your feet, I'll take it slightly easier on you. Did 
you get your hands on some blowfish poison? Very nicely done. I suppose they don't get many requests for just the poisonous parts. Mr. Igashichi's a peculiar one, isn't he? Most people would quail at the prospect of poisoning themselves. I suppose he just doesn't want the government to interfere with his inventions, but one can't help but to be impressed by how much he's willing to put at stake. If you'll excuse me, I'll get started in the back. Just a moment. Sorry for the wait. This poison here is for Mr. Igashichi, and you can hold on to the antidote. It should, as I've weakened the poison's effects considerably. If all goes as planned, he'll just look dead, not actually be dead. Honestly, I'd rather he called off the whole affair. But he's clearly made up his mind. He should be back in the photographic studio by now. Do go and deliver what he needs. Have a nice day. like you know your way around a fight. How about putting your skills to the test? It's simple. All you have to do is take down my friend over there. They say Japanese warriors can hold their own against guns, and I want to see it for myself. Come on, show me what you can do. Here's something by way of thanks for the fine display. I was wondering when you'd next drop by. I'm glad to see you. Really? That would be great. Oh, it looks like you have quite the collection. Good work.
would you like me to work on? What would you like me to work on? What would you like me to work on? Has Fkazova given you what I need? Splendid! We are going to use Fkazova's concoctions and the worthless gadget we collected from my storehouse to fool those government goons. They'll be waiting for me at the Commissioner's office. If you're ready, I'll head over there right this instant. Are you up for it? Follow me.
The moment is upon us. Once I drink this poison, its whole systems go. I'll head in alone first. I need to go about things as usual, or I'm liable to roast suspicion. Wait until I've started showing them my useless inventions. Then make your entrance. Understood? I'm ready. Should I go ahead and drink the poison? Fukuzawa should already be inside on some sort of pretense. When I collapse, he'll come and confirm my death. The official and his cronies don't know about us, so they'll have no reason to doubt him. With both you and Fukuzawa on hand, I'll be able to rest in peace. Temporarily, of course. That was revolting. But now we must act quickly. Here I go.
conclusion. If you use it precisely as I have explained, uh, it could very well be a most formidable weapon. We'll have to familiarize ourselves, but this could be very useful. Who's this? <laughs> my apologies, just one of my assistants. I said they should have come, but... Uh... Oh! Hey! What's wrong with you? M Mr. Fukuzawa! Seize with the man! Of course, excuse me. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. This man is dead. Oh. He's dead! He's really dead! Quick! Summoned his invention and hide it somewhere. No one outside this group is to see yes, it. Yes, sir. Phew. You've seen too much. You are not leaving this place alive. Get them! Kill them now! Kill any longer I just about saw my grandfather and great-grandfather waiting at the pearly gate oh thank goodness I wasn't convinced the antidote would work so I diluted the poison as best I could I think you might have died if I hadn't in any case I am relieved you're safe please never come to me with a request like this again well did my plan work Play coy with me. It all went fine. You appear to have convinced them of your death, at least. Hurrah! Mission accomplished then. I suppose I'm now dead to the world, aren't I? <laughs>